let me introduce Mr. Kamali. Uh, what, what do I call you? Ambassador Kamali Manix? Yes. You, Mr. Kamali. Okay. Let me introduce my young colleague, Ambassador, uh, Youth Ambassador with Responsibilities for Education, Science, and Technology, Mr. Kamali Manix. Mr. Kamali, welcome to Point FM. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Hold the mic a little closer. Good yes. afternoon, everybody. Thank it's you. a pleasure to be here. All right. So um, he just does that. Kamali, I know you're, you, you, you may not have a, a long historical body of work, but just introduce yourself to my audience. Tell them who you are, where you went to school. We're very, we're very parochial here with who's the best school. So I, I know you didn't go to my school. So clearly you went to the second best school. But uh, okay. be that as it may, you know, introduce yourself to the audience. Well, my name is, as stated before, Kamali Mannix. Presently, I am a National Youth Ambassador, and I have special responsibility for education, science, and technology. I come from a great village. I will say a great village, not the great village, but a great village called All Saints. Um, I was raised by my grandmother and my mother. Um, you know, the epic story of ca Caribbean fathers not being, you know, the, the exact best. Um, I had the privilege to go to J.T. Ambrose Primary School in All Saints as well. Then I ventured off to the great, the absolute best, the number one, mm -hmm. undisputably, the Antigua Grammar School, where I did debate. You were brainwashed, I understand. Debate, which is where most people would have had their first introduction of seeing me debate. Um, you were 2015 champions, mm -hmm. along with me and Pell, who I think he's from Villa, so, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm warming up, I'm warming up. Um, and then in Fort Farm, I was youth ambassador to the United States for a year. So I got the opportunity to travel to Barbados, the United States, and a couple of Caribbean islands. Upon returning and going into Fifth Farm, it was a shock to me and the entire Antigua Grammar School. I was given the privilege to serve as the deputy head boy for my Fifth Farm year. They did CXC, passed on, I'm not going to say how much. Um, ventured off to the Antigua why, State why, College. Why, 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 why not how much? We will come back to that. <laughs> Went off to the Antigua State College where I spent two years, wouldn't say lovely, wouldn't say bad, I'm going to keep my, you know, opinion to myself. Hmm. Went off to the Antigua State College for two years hmm. and I had the absolute privilege, which I really enjoy, to serve as president of the Circle K Club at the Antigua State College where I got my first feeling of being of bossing people being around. A <laughs> very strict administrator and an administrator left to take tough decisions at times because there were times where my full executive board incorporated me and I had to really pull people together first year, second years, people from outside of the club to really pull off certain activities. I think one of the, the main event for the year was the anti Mr. and Miss Antigua State College pageant which up to now people still pass me and they were like, the pageant was great, they enjoyed the pageant. And I think that was one of my greatest, that was my greatest accomplishment for the whole year serving as president. So when I gave up the post, I can say I did something, I contributed something. Um, finished the Antigua State College, praise the name of the living God. Um, <laughs> no, you have me very curious. So that is one of the things <laughs> we'll touch briefly. But carry I on. I went to. Oh, I was a member of the youth parliament in 2016 nationally. In 2017, I had the privilege to go to St. Kitts to participate in the regional youth parliament, and I came back with an award for best speaker on opposition bench. Mm, no surprise. I was there. appointed as a youth, a national youth ambassador, and I have special responsibility for education, science, and technology. So for the next three years, all of my advocating will be surrounding young people and their involvement in education. And that's about it, in a nutshell. Audience, I hope you exhaled like me because you realize, Kimali, uh, how old are you? I am 19 now. So for Kimali's 19 years on earth, he has done quite a bit. He's had several mouthfuls there. And I'm going to pick on a few of the things that he mentioned. <laughs> um, I think we, I might have to bring him back for round two because we might need more time than what? Um, we have allocated now, but I notice you keep <clears throat> being very sensitive to Antigua State College. You did the advanced level department. I'm curious why you're um, done. They can't hold it against you. To be honest with you, I enjoyed the social aspect okay. of State College. Mm -hmm. um, I made friends. I created stronger relationship with friends that I already had. So the social experience was absolutely perfect. I cannot complain. Um, it gave me the opportunity to travel to Anguilla, 
because I was a part of um, the, the debating, debating society mm-hmm. and we did Leeward Islands debating competition and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. I got to meet some very awesome people like Loretta Benjamin, who was a lecturer, Miss Denise Gardner, who is by force my adopted mother. So I'm I got me. to meet you. <laughs> um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> my thing with State College is I think our policy makers, I'm not going to say government because oftentimes people attack attack the government unfairly. Mm -hmm. Our policy makers need to understand that education is really the building block of a society. If you want a society to move forward and to be progressive and to become a real world power, you must invest in education. One of the first things that I noticed about State College, the facilities itself was not up to standard. A-Level's department does not have a classroom. Do, do not have classrooms allocated Yes, to we do. Every other classroom, they went, you know, every other A-levels department. A-levels department has the auditorium. The auditorium is for the general college. What, yeah, that's where... And then, uh, what, what, okay, what, what, if on. one class is occupying the auditorium, there are about five other subjects happening at the same time. Yeah, where under the tree. We have to be... Under the tree. ...to other people's space. Barring other people's space. Using UB undergrad space, using the tutorial. In rooms, other words. Et cetera, et cetera. So we don't have actual classroom space. Every other department whether it be business, nursing, teacher training, has classroom spaces and spaces allocated to them. A-Levels does not, and A-Levels has the largest set of students. In other words, Kamali, what you're saying to me is that A-Levels still operates the way it did when I was there in 1998? Practically. Oh the dear. mango tree, oh down dear. in somebody else's classrooms, teachers being like, you know what, let's just not do this today. Let's just, because there's no space. So that the, my, my, one of my problems was f- facilities. My second problem was, at times, the administrative aspect of the school. When you're trying to get information from somebody, but... What type of information? General stuff, whether it be concerning subjects, concerning events that, happen, that are happening at the school itself, and I don't know it, my superior doesn't know it, the, not, the, the next person who are all in authority don't know the other person over there don't know so then you're running around like a headless chicken trying to figure out okay so who do I go to to get something so simple okay. so the social aspect of it was good but on the part of the facilities and the administration of the college not, not bashing anybody but those are really what about issues. okay so let's see if I can pick a good news what about your faculty your teachers A levels oh I had some awesome lecturers. All right, so the lecturers did their... Lecturers, p- so the lecturers complain. played their part. They played their part. Trust me, this, uh, majority of the time, they went above and beyond what they required to do as lecturers. So I can give them their props for that. So you, so if you had to, given your, your current title as Youth Ambassador for Education, Science, and Technology, and that uh, we got our education policy makers to listen to you, what would you tell them as it relates to the Antigua State College, in particular A-Levels? My greatest thing with, with, with A-Levels is that we need, they need, well, I can't say we anymore because I'm now an alumni, <laughs> but they need classroom space. Okay. I remember it was a situation where when rain come, if you want to see people scatter, as we would say, everybody picking up, gear, picking up their bag, running, to, running, standing up underneath some kind of shed or underneath the, um, the upper walkways for the administrative building trying to shed from the rain because there's no classroom and you can't impose upon other people's classes. <laughs> so as soon as the rain started to drizzle, you swear a, a bullet gone off, everybody running. I'm laughing because, I mean, I don't think we had it as bad as you guys <laughs> because there were a lot less of us, I think, when we In graduated. Day, right? right. But we also had, well, we had the, 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 those who did the sciences, they had the labs. Lucky them. Right. And then for the rest of us, it was the auditorium yes, and the trees. Mm-hmm. Under the trees. So. And even now, it's become a situation where students are nearly fighting over furniture. When it comes to furniture, the department is Which lacking the p- A-levels. Oh, dear. Where you will find somebody in the morning, they will come and they hold this chair. And just like how they walk with the bag, they walk in with a one chair for the whole day. Because they know keep they put it, it down it, and they go to it. the next class. That's it. Okay, you're very they passionate have to fight about for this. Cheer. So, so for sure, based on your experience and your, you have an excellent body of, of work that you bring to the table already at 19. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've just tuned in, I'm speaking with my alternate guest today. I want to thank him very much, Kamali Mannix, Youth Ambassador. Let me give him his proper handle. <laughs> youth Ambassador Kamali Mannix, who has responsibilities for education, science, and technology. And he was just sharing a bit of his experience while he was at the advanced level department of the Antigua State College, where he recently.